a lot of things that again are supposed to help to build us up we have given it to the devil and said it is of him mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it belongs to him so if anybody who calls himself a believer or a born again believer is there caught saying such things in the bedroom then they got some questions for you hi everyone welcome back to our channel love marriage sex with tia and tia guys we got a very interesting topic for you today what are your thoughts on uh, dirty talk in the bedroom especially as believers children of god is this something that uh is acceptable is there where where do we draw the line or is it a just absolute no we do not do it where do you stand on this so that is the topic for today so we want to dive right on into it do you want to go first so for me honestly at first when i got married it was so weird for me to just say anything dirty i just felt like it was so not right so not good but <laughs> as we grew i felt like i can't just you you can't be having a good time and be saying bless the lord bless the lord bless <laughs> the lord bless the lord <laughs> however sure if you're not comfortable i would be honest with you um if the Holy Spirit is not comfortable, mm. he should let you know. That's why I always encourage that relationship with the Holy Spirit so that yeah. whenever you're moving, don't be too fast to move without listening. Listening. Mm -hmm. Anything you're doing that you're not comfortable with, ask the Lord, ask the Holy Spirit to like, you know, am I really doing the right thing? If I'm not comfortable, make this thing very uncomfortable to me. Let mm. it remain uncomfortable. Yeah. Because I feel um, we we are all individually in different places. Mm. And this is an individual thing. Okay. Yeah, I feel you completely on that. I think the, the Holy Spirit is the X factor in this. Um, you know, Ephesians 5.4 talks about certain things we should abstain from right with its coarse jokes of coarse languages you know things of that nature um but i think where we confuse a lot of things is that word and i use the deliberately dirty talk dirty mm -hmm, language mm -hmm. we could easily replace it especially if we are being guided by the holy spirit to sensual talk or 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 flirty talk, talk or something like that not dirty because dirty obviously has a very negative dark almost like pornographic type yes. um, um identity attached to it you know because when you think of um for example and if language changes right words change meanings change definitions change some people could look at song of songs and say that that is dirty, dirty especially talk. back in that day and that time you know and and he uses words that we use today obviously it's not the same word we've changed the words right to describe certain parts of our anatomy or certain acts and we do the same thing today and so you know looking at it that way it's like well you can still see how some people consider that dirty or, or or not appropriate right but it's right there in the scriptures and so i think the main thing again is having that holy spirit guiding and you would know it's not going to sit well with you if you're using certain phrases yeah, or I'm having certain conversations in the bedroom with your spouse that the holy spirit does not like or does not approve of and so i think that's what we have to say about that you know um, there's a part in the scripture that says do not let unwholesome words come, come out, out of your, your mouth, mouth. Yes. now Except what are what is edifying. yes what is edifying that is edifying yes yes that is edifying so you see sometimes we spiritualize stuff and we do over spiritualize yes and this so this might get our attention from the Christian sex police. So we're waiting for y'all. We're waiting for y'all. Yep. Um, yeah, yeah. A lot of things that, again, are supposed to help to build us up. We have given it to the devil and said it is of him mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it belongs to him. So if anybody who calls himself a believer or a born again believer is there caught saying such things in the bedroom, then they got some questions for you. So, um, but yeah. <laughs> it is well <laughs> that's all i can say but honestly i will still tell you it's based on individuals yeah. please ask the holy spirit to direct yes. you there's and no he will right let answer you know. to this it is the holy spirit that will let you know 
yes with that thank you so much guys for watching we love you asia africa north and south america Antarctica, europe yeah, finally australia. australia henry said he wants to call all of this the the, right. the 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 whole planet yes. uh, all the seas and oceans everybody that is watching us we love you so much thank god you god loves you more <laughs> and god loves you more thank you guys catch you at a later video bye, bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah.